Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Today we're going to be doing a laser tattoo removal on one of the most perfect candidates for it. A patient with a Fitzpatrick II skin type, meaning they're relatively fair skinned, have a few freckles, they burn and then tan, and that means there's not a lot of melanin to compete with the laser. Therefore, they usually get a very good response, especially with a black ink tattoo. And when we start lasering it, we notice that we're developing cavitation. That's the whitening that we see, starting in the tongue, going across the head. As we go through the body, that cavitation still occurs. It's a very good sign. Cavitation is probably a mixture of water vapor and maybe a little vaporized ink. Cavitation could fool you. You could start to think that, oh, the tattoo was gone, especially in a light-skinned individual. However, in about 20 minutes, the cavitation disappears. Now, his tattoo is going to be raised for about a week. And you might see some red little punctate hemorrhaging around the edges of the tattoo starting in the next few hours. Now, we see the cavitation goes right throughout. And the little red dot that we're seeing is not the laser. That's a red LED showing me exactly where the laser is going to hit. The laser is a Q-switched ND egg, which means that it is infrared. That's right, I heard you right through the video. It's infrared, so we don't see it. That also makes it a little dangerous, by the way. Even though it's a great wavelength, to use on all skin types, the fact that it's invisible means that you can get an eye injury very easily because it tends to give you the impression that it's not there. That's why you always have to wear your protective eyewear every case, every time, everybody in the room. Now this is how it looked 10 minutes after we finished. We're seeing the dermis, we're seeing dermal hemorrhage. That's what that maroonish looking color is throughout the tattoo. And it's a sign that he's going to have an excellent response seeing that dermal hemorrhage at this early stage. He'll come back in six weeks for the next treatments and I think he's going to have a great outcome. Take care, be well, and have a good day.